Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joshua Franson, and we've already warmed up to about the mid to upper 80s already outside, but we do have some clouds coming in from the west, and this is firing off a cold front. But overall, throughout the day, these clouds are going to break apart, but maybe even bring a, sh a chance at a spotty shower or storm or two, especially for our northern counties by about 4 p.m. We see these partly cloudy skies and maybe a shower or storm or two for the northern counties. But into the evening is when we actually see it ramp up a little bit. We see a little more cloud cover, mostly cloudy for our northern counties, partly cloudy for our southern counties, and stronger storms begin to fire, especially for the southern portions of our viewing area. And this will persist and peak in intensity by about midnight tonight as we can see some stronger storms over Cedar Rapids and Monticello and Dubuque and Tama. And we'll be left pretty much mostly cloudy if you're not in these storms, but these will be something to look out for into the evening overnight tonight as these storms will contain a risk for some hail and some wind. These will be out of the area by about early morning hours tomorrow, about 8 a.m. We'll be left mostly cloudy, but throughout the day, these clouds will break apart and we'll be left with partly cloudy skies throughout tomorrow. But there is that severe weather risk today, and it is a level two out of five, maybe a level one in our fur or furthest northwestern counties, but level two out of five, mainly just for hail and damaging wind. Though an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. So in case, make sure you have that Storm Track 7 app downloaded on your phone if you need any warning. But overall, just a level two risk for a majority of our area in case those storms do decide to track and brings in some light hail or some stronger wind gusts or two. But winds today, we're looking fairly light and fairly light throughout the day as we will mainly be out of the west and northwest, which is surprising with how warm it's going to be. But that's because that cold front's going to move through. And then further ahead and tomorrow, we'll swap out of the northeast before we return to that southerly wind that's been making us so warm. But this is going to shift up quite a bit, and it's finally going to bring us some relief into the weekend. As we see here on Friday, get that 15 mile an hour northwest wind we really like because it keeps us cooler and drier. We're swapping again on Saturday to drive up our temperatures just a little bit, but then Sunday it really sets it straight, straight down from the north and drops our temperatures down to 77 for temperatures throughout the rest of the next week sitting in about the mid 70s, which is very, very nice versus the heat we've been dealing with. But we got to put up with it for a little bit longer. So dew points and comfort level, we're going to be sitting in the 70s till about Friday. Today especially will be in the, near the mid-70s at 74, and then 70s throughout Wednesday and Thursday before the, we get another front to move through between Thursday and Friday to drop our dew points and keep us a lot cooler. This is going to mean our heat indices are also going to drop between Thursday and Friday, but once again, today we've got to deal with that heat indice near 100 degrees, very uncomfortable outside. Wednesday and Thursday still uncomfortable, sitting in the 90s for Friday and Saturday. We're looking nice, sitting at our actual air temperature of 83 and 84 respectively. Heat risk potential today is still in the moderate to extreme category as we do have uh, excessive heat warning for our far eastern counties and then a heat advisory for on the border of that excessive heat warning across our central counties. So we're seeing a major heat risk across our central counties, extreme further east, and then moderate if you're in the northwestern portions of our viewing area. This will taper down tomorrow as we'll be left mostly with moderate and minor across our viewing area before it lingers on throughout Thursday. That front moves through, and then by Friday we get back to that minor category, and then we're left very pleasant into the weekend Saturday. But overall today you expect your highs to be in the mid to upper 80s, maybe lower 90s across our viewing area. Chance of rain or storms, partly cloudy skies otherwise, but it's going to be hot and humid, and if you want to be cooler, well, you're going to want to hope for a storm. Areas that will remain cooler will probably be the ones that deal with that rain-cooled outflow left behind from storms. But otherwise, if not, it's going to feel still quite warm, hence why we have that yellow alert day. Tonight, we're going to drop to the mid to upper 60s, maybe lower 70s further south. But then again, that 30% chance of storms remains, and some of those may contain a little bit of stronger hail and some gusty winds. But otherwise, fairly humid out there, sitting in the mid to upper 60s this time of year when all those high dew points sticking around too into the evening. Looking at Wednesday and Thursday, we do see a little bit of a drop in temperature, but overall still a little bit muggy. But then by Thursday into Friday, that front moves through, may spark up some more thunderstorms by Thursday, but we will taper off in temperature into lower 80s and then into the upper 70s for the weekend. But then by Labor Day, we're sitting at 70s throughout the rest of the week until Thursday. And 
partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies.